It's time again for another installment of The Basics, and on today's show, I've put this together due to a request from a viewer, and I'm actually surprised I never covered this as of yet in regards to the Star Trek CCG, and that, of course, would be multi-affiliation personnel. So personnel cards that either have two or three affiliations. So let me get started and show you what I'm talking about. Now, it's a well-known fact that Decipher did a lot of things with the Star Trek CCG that really irritated me to a certain point. But one of the things they did very well was the introduction of personnel that had more than one affiliation to them. And some of my favorite cards from multi-affiliation that I will go over with you are as follows. The Emissary itself is an awesome card. You can either use it for Bajoran or Federation. All your other Bajorans in play are Integrity Plus 2. Your Bajorans may report for duty where present. Diplomacy. You can download the Bajoran Wormhole. It's an awesome dual affiliation card. Uh, when I did build the odd Bajoran deck, it was a mainstay. And I have put him in my Federation deck from time to time. Although, I do have another version of Cisco that I like to use. Marda, some people don't think this is a useful card, but think about it. Youth, biology, and a secondary skill of science, even though she's a civilian, Bajoran, or Ferengi. Science can come in very handy when it comes to either affiliation. Ilan Tandro is a VIP that can report for either Federation or Cardassian. Diplomacy... Secondary skill of engineer and treachery. Once per game may capture one personnel present. Useful. Major Raquel, if you remember that episode, Face of the Enemy from the Next Generation. Yeah, she has the alternate universe icon, which means you need one of the two doorways to bring her out. But she has a command icon. She has Tal Shiar, Empathy and Treachery as a Romulan. Empathy, Diplomacy, Integrity plus four, and Cunning minus one as Federation. That Integrity plus four alone pays dividends. Stefan Deceive, everyone's favorite traitor. Also, you need that doorway to bring him out. As a Romulan, even though he's a civilian now, treachery and greed comes in handy. As a Federation, officer with treachery and integrity minus one, but whatever. Now, some of my more favorite multi-affiliation cards, Kira, tri-affiliation, Cardassian, Bajoran, or Federation. She's an officer with a command level skill, Leadership, resistance, security as a secondary, navigation, honor times two, and her strength is eight plus X. X equals three versus dominion. So that's 11. Hello! Why would you not want that in any of your deck? I actually have her in my Cardassian deck right now. Very useful. Garrick, I really don't have to explain this one. If you're playing a Cardassian deck, and or want non-aligned personnel, Garrick is a no-brainer. You want him in your deck. Quark, son of Keldar. I currently use this in my Klingon deck. He's a civilian with a minor staffing icon, but leadership, greed, computer skill times two, honor. And if you have Grilka in your deck, which I do, all attributes plus three if with Grilka. So he goes... From having integrity of 5 to 8, cunning of 7 to 10, and strength of 4 to 7. Very useful. Now, on the other flip of the coin, you have the Delta Quadrant. And most of the multi-affiliation personnel are confined to Federation and non-aligned. This is because a chunk of the crew of Voyager, if you know anything about the TV series, are Maquis. So you see a lot of those dual affiliations also having the Maquis icon, or you have... Everyone's favorite rogue Starfleet officers like Rudolph Ransom and members of the Equinox crew. Very useful to have in a Delta Quadrant deck. Rudolph Ransom alone, whether you have him as a Federation or non-aligned, he pays dividends with his skills. And if you happen to be using a non-aligned Delta Quadrant deck, you have a lot of great personnel with awesome attributes to choose from. And right off the bat, two that I would have in my deck, which I have tried, is either Echeb or Bolana Torres, or any non-aligned uh, heavy Maquis like Chakotay and what have you. They have awesome skills that can help you in any deck. 
All in all, I was always a big fan of multi-affiliation cards, and I still am. On a future episode, I'll talk about multi-affiliation ships. Now, that all being said, when you're building a deck that you use any of these affiliations and you're trying to figure out which of these personnel to use, you have to choose wisely. You don't want the personnel in your deck to be front-loaded with too many multi-affiliation personnel unless it's that Delta Quadrant non-aligned deck because they're all useful at that stage. Uh, personally, of all the multi-affiliation personnel that I have across all the different affiliations, I probably use two per deck at the most depending on their skill sets. Have a great day everybody.